Hi. I continue to inform you what's happening in Ukraine and this Russian-Ukrainian war which has consequences for the whole world. And you please subscribe on this channel to know all the information from the first hands uh, so that you know more than others. So let us start. And uh, the most important events of last days uh, is definitely the situation around the Parisian nuclear power plant, which is situated in an Ergodar uh, city uh, on the Dnieper River in the Parisian region of Ukraine. This is the biggest nuclear power plant in Europe, just imagine. It is occupied by Russians almost from the first days of their invasion. Uh, and uh, now they are actively shelling on the stations. They did it at the beginning, they shelled on the st at the station from the tanks, which is completely mad. And now they continue to do it, trying to make false flag uh, provocations, accusing in these attacks Ukraine, <laughs> what sense? Uh, but uh, in any way, even in United Nations, they are telling that Russia is not allowing uh, people and inspectors to come and to see what's happening. And it's definitely what Russia is doing. Just take a look at the fire on the territory of nuclear power plant. Definitely that is very dangerous for the whole planet. And Putin is acting like a nuclear terrorist, which uh, to, like, uh, he, he, he takes in hostages the whole population of the planet. Uh, with the threat of uh, attack and destroy of uh, this uh, uh, very big and very powerful nuclear power plant. And he certainly, the whole world should react here and the ter territory of the nuclear power plant and around should be demilitarized in order to keep it safe. That is very important. Uh, second, uh, the shipments from Odessa port are continuing uh, and today two more ships uh, left from uh, Odessa ports. Uh, so that is good, but Russia is doing everything they can to slow down the process. And uh, there is not so many ships like it could be. But in any way, uh, the situation is better than it was a month before. But we should be very cautious about what will happen next. Uh, very important uh, on this week was attack. Uh, and uh, the big fire and explosions on uh, occupied by Russians uh, military airport in Crimea, Novofedorovka. Um, Russians are saying that it is, was just uh, some uh, technical issue, some incident, uh, interesting idea. Uh, Ukrainian uh, military is saying that uh, we will not comment what had happened there, but we can tell you that at least nine or maybe up to 17 Russian aircrafts, uh, including the most modern ones, were destroyed during this uh, attack. And uh, that is the biggest loss of Russian aircrafts from the Second World War. Just imagine. Take a look at the photos, uh, satellite photos of how it looks like. One more interesting video that I want to share with you is the video how Russian, which was made by Russian propagandists, which is important, which shows how Russian uh, Grad systems, in its multiple launch rocket systems, uh, they fire just in the center of the city, just near the cafe where people are sitting. And uh, so they are just using people uh, on the occupied territories as a human shield. Take a look at this. <laughs> Once again, it is filmed by Russian uh, war journalist propagandists. They call themselves journalists, but definitely they are propagandists. And uh, the most important military news is uh, that Ukraine, is continue, uh, Ukraine continues to hit precisely the bridges over the Dnieper River. Uh, and uh, the situation for Russian troops on the right bank of Dnieper River uh, take a look at this uh, picture, this is the map. So, Kherson region, which is occupied by Russia, is divided by Dnieper River in two parts, right bank and left bank. 
and right bank uh, part uh, is, can be supplied only through four uh, bridges and all of them for the moment are under precise uh, control and fire, fire control and attack and shelling uh, by Ukraine. So the situation for Russian troops on the right bank is worsening just from hour to hour. That is a good sign. Uh, and I hope that will give us possibility to liberate this right bank part of your son region in the nearest future. So please keep continue to follow me, subscribe, share this video with those who are interested in what's going on in Ukraine and see you next time. And write please in comments uh, what you are interested about to hear about what's going on in Ukraine. Uh, Slava Ukraini!